We knew it was him. We knew it. A website called All About the Tea. We told All About the Tea that during the fight. It's your girl Monica and I am back for a new update in the Tim Norman murder for hire case. After six long months, former Sweetie Pie star Tim Norman learned his fate this morning. Tim Norman was sentenced to life in federal prison for murder for hire against his nephew, Andre Montgomery. Back in September, a jury spent more than 17 hours deliberating and determined a guilty verdict. It was unanimous. Tim Norman was found guilty on all charges, including conspiracy to commit murder for hire, murder for hire resulting in death, and mail fraud. He was given two life sentences on Thursday for the murder for hire counts and a 240 month sentence for the count of mail fraud. Tim Norman and his family are well known from the OWN Network reality series, Welcome to Sweetie Pies. Back in 2020, Tim Norman was accused of being the mastermind behind his nephew's death, which occurred back in 2016. Court documents show Tim Norman took out a life insurance policy on Andre for $450,000 in 2014. Last week, Tim Norman took to social media and wrote a lengthy rant declaring his innocence. And I quote, thank you all for the prayers. I'm still in disbelief. The feds know 100% I did not do those insurance policies, but the jury didn't get to hear that. And not one person got on stand and said that I told them to hurt my nephew. They destroyed my name and image so you guys wouldn't search for the truth. Three other people were also charged in this case and they were found guilty as well. In October 2020, 31-year-old Travell Anthony Hill was sentenced to 32 years in prison after pleading guilty for his involvement in as the shooter. In his plea agreement, Hill admitted to meeting Andre's uncle, Tim, on the day of the murder. He also stated that he understood that Tim wanted Andre killed. Back in November 2020, Y.L. Yuckman, Norman's insurance agent, was also sentenced to three years in prison after pleading guilty to conspiracy to commit mail and wire fraud. In January 2023, Tarika Ellis, 39 years old, was sentenced to three years in prison. She pled guilty to a charge of conspiracy to commit murder for hire. Ellis had also been facing 20 years in prison, but the U.S. state's attorney went easy on her because the judge uh, took into account that uh, she was forced into prostitution at a young age. And it was Tarika's testimony that was pivotal in getting Tim Norman convicted for murder. So they took all of those things in consideration and they went easy on her and sentenced her to only three years. Within last week, Tim's attorneys were fighting to keep him from receiving a life sentence. In court documents, the attorneys pointed out several arguments. In one analysis, it talked about Tim's troubled childhood and his efforts to give back to the community as an adult. The court document said, and I quote, in sum, the history and characteristics of Mr. Norman strongly favor a sentence that is no more than 20 years. Also among the court documents were several letters from Norman's supporters, including his mom, Miss Robbie. She told the judge, I am writing to ask you for mercy for my son. Ace, the trial that took place in September was a week long trial. Tim Norman testified on his own behalf. He cried and denied any involvement with the murder of his nephew. He talked about how he was a mentor to many children, including his nephew. However, prosecutors questioned him, catching Norman in a few lies, tracked down a flight and phone records, and spoke to other parties who pled guilty in the case. And I quote, he is the architect of this plan, causing 
encouraging and aiding this scheme. The assistant U.S. attorney Gwendolyn Carroll told the jury. Andre Montgomery was the grandson of Welcome to Sweetie Pie star Robbie Montgomery, better known as Miss Robbie, who was one of the Tina Turner's original eye kits in the 1960s. Andre Montgomery was 21 at the time of his death, and he frequently appeared on the own reality series, Sweetie Pies, until his tragic demise in March 2016. Andre was killed on March 14, 2016, around 8.02 p.m. Andre's murder was set up and orchestrated by his own uncle, Tim Norman, and a stripper named Tierica Ellis. On the day of the murder, both Tim and Tierica bought and activated burner phones at the same store and then communicated all day on those burner phones. According to the criminal complaint, Tierica also used a cell phone to call Andre to find out about his whereabouts with the purpose of luring him outside. Immediately after learning Andre's location, Tierica placed a call to Tim. Later that day, Andre was shot in the head and killed. Tierica lured Andre outside of his location. One minute after the homicide, Tierica placed a call to Tim at 8.03 p.m. and began traveling back to Memphis, Tennessee, where she resided at the time. According to prosecutors, Tim Norman took out a 450 k life insurance policy on his nephew and the day after his death, he tried to cash in on those policies. Many have asked, why did Tim kill Andre? People ask me this question all the time. And the answer is simple, greed. Because he was greedy and he was willing to take his nephew's life. Tim was drowning in debt. He kept opening multiple restaurants in various cities. And as quick as they opened, they closed because he owed many people and many creditors money. His own mother sued him for trademark infringement in 2016 for opening restaurants using the Sweetie Pies moniker without her authorization. On top of that, he had an expensive, expensive taste and spending habits. He lived above his means. Going back to 2017, I've done the research. Tim owed many creditors, banks, individuals, but he kept spending and opening more and more restaurants. Tim was drowning in debt and needed a way out. In his eyes, the only way he saw out of his financial despair was through insurance money and eliminating a family member. In Tim's eyes, Andre was the easiest target because he had a reputation which Tim exploited to his benefit. Tim Norman had, at that time, a million dollar policy on Miss Robbie's life. And many of the family members believe his intention was to do the same thing he did to Andre, to his own mother, for the purpose of collecting insurance money. Now y'all can watch the video. I'll link it down below. It has all the details and come back here or leave a comment there on that video as well.